Iran's unveiling of the Zagros, its first signals intelligence vessel, marks a significant milestone in the country's naval and military capabilities. Designed for electronic surveillance and cyber intelligence operations, the Zagros serves as a reflection of Iran's growing emphasis on technological advancements in its military strategy. With its deployment, Iran aims to bolster its surveillance and defensive operations across vast maritime domains, demonstrating a clear intent to address regional and international challenges through innovative measures. The Zagros is built on the hull of hull of a Moj-class corvette, diverging from the more conventional practice of adapting commercial vessels for SIGINT purposes. This choice underscores Iran's resourcefulness in utilizing available assets to meet its strategic needs. The ship's design incorporates seven ball-shaped ray domes, housing advanced electronic sensors and satellite communication systems, enabling it to collect, decrypt, and analyze radio frequency signals from potentially hostile emitters. These capabilities make the Zagros a critical tool for gathering intelligence and maintaining situational awareness in contested maritime spaces. In addition to its electronic warfare functions, the Zagros's design includes a flight deck and hangar capable of accommodating a helicopter, such as the Augusta Bell AB-212. This feature is unusual for SIGINT vessels, suggesting a dual-purpose role for the ship. The helicopter could provide logistical support during extended deployments, enhance force protection in the absence of onboard armament, or extend the ship's intelligence gathering range through sensor payloads. This versatility aligns with Iran's broader strategy of maximizing utility from its military assets. The launch of the Zagros coincides with extensive military exercises focused on safeguarding Iran's nuclear infrastructure, including key facilities at Natanz and Fordow. These drills, involving both the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, and the Iranian Army, highlight the nation's readiness to defend against potential threats to its strategic interests. As tensions with the United States and its allies continue to escalate, fueled by concerns over Iran's nuclear program and its regional activities, the Zagros represents a proactive measure to enhance Iran's surveillance and defensive posture. Regionally, the Zagros faces competition from similar vessels operated by countries such as Israel and Saudi Arabia. Both nations have invested heavily in advanced SIGINT and electronic warfare capabilities, reflecting the strategic importance of intelligence in the modern security landscape. Israel, for instance, operates sophisticated naval assets equipped with state-of-the-art surveillance technologies while Saudi Arabia has leveraged its partnerships with Western allies to acquire cutting-edge electronic warfare systems. In comparison, the Zagros showcases Iran's ability to achieve significant technological advancements domestically, albeit with potential limitations in resources and access to international markets. Despite these challenges, the Zagros demonstrates Iran's commitment to projecting power and securing its interests in critical maritime regions. The ship's operational range is expected to extend beyond the Persian Gulf to the Arabian Sea, Red Sea, and potentially the Mediterranean Sea, where it could monitor activities of rival states, including Israel and the United States. The addition of a dedicated SIGINT vessel to Iran's fleet enhances its capacity to gather actionable intelligence, a critical asset in a region marked by geopolitical rivalries and complex security dynamics. Iran's decision to construct the Zagros on a naval rather than commercial hull offers both advantages and trade-offs. The ship's potentially higher survivability and adaptability to military operations are offset by the challenges of reduced space and efficiency compared to commercial conversions. However, this approach aligns with Iran's pattern of innovative, if unconventional, naval developments, reflecting its focus on meeting strategic objectives with available resources. The Zagros's deployment also serves as a symbol of Iran's strategic shift toward a more proactive maritime presence. By extending its reach to the Indian and Pacific Oceans, Iran aims to secure critical shipping lanes and bolster its influence in regions of strategic importance. 
Such deployments could facilitate intelligence gathering on maritime traffic and bolster Iran's ability to respond to perceived threats, including those from rival navies and regional coalitions. This expansion of operational range signifies Iran's intent to play a more assertive role in the geopolitical landscape, countering what it perceives as external threats to its sovereignty and strategic interests. From a technological perspective, the Zagros represents a culmination of domestic ingenuity in the face of international sanctions and technological isolation. Iran's ability to design and field a SIGINT vessel of this caliber demonstrates the resilience of its defense sector. The ship's radar and communication systems are likely influenced by collaborations with countries such as China and Russia, which have provided Iran with critical technologies in the past. However, the reliance on domestic production also reflects the challenges Iran faces in accessing cutting-edge components available to its regional competitors. One of the unique features of the Zagros is its potential for cyber operations, as reported by Iranian media. While details remain scarce, the integration of cyber capabilities into a naval platform indicates a recognition of the growing importance of cyber warfare in modern military strategy. By leveraging its SIGINT capabilities alongside cyber operations, the Zagros could disrupt adversaries' communication networks, gather critical intelligence, and potentially conduct electronic attacks against hostile forces. This multidimensional approach highlights Iran's efforts to adapt to the evolving nature of warfare, where traditional boundaries between domains are increasingly blurred. The introduction of the Zagros also aligns with Iran's broader naval doctrine, which emphasizes asymmetric warfare and the use of unconventional tactics to counter superior forces. In the context of the Persian Gulf and the Strait of Hormuz, the ship's intelligence-gathering capabilities could enhance Iran's ability to monitor and respond to the movements of U.S. and allied naval forces. By providing real-time intelligence on the location and activities of carrier strike groups and other assets, the Zagros could serve as a force multiplier for Iran's naval and missile forces, improving their situational awareness and targeting accuracy. Comparing the Zagros to its regional counterparts offers insight into the relative strengths and limitations of Iran's approach. Israel's naval SIGINT capabilities, for example, are supported by advanced platforms equipped with sophisticated Western technology, enabling them to operate with a high degree of efficiency and precision. Saudi Arabia, with its significant investment in naval modernization, also possesses advanced surveillance and electronic warfare assets. In contrast, the Zagros reflects a more self-reliant approach, prioritizing functionality and adaptability over cutting-edge technology. While this may limit its overall effectiveness in certain scenarios, it underscores Iran's commitment to achieving strategic autonomy. In addition to its operational roles, the Zagro serves as a tool of strategic signaling. Its deployment sends a clear message to regional adversaries and international observers about Iran's determination to defend its interests and assert its presence in key maritime areas. The ship's unveiling during military exercises focused on protecting nuclear facilities further reinforces this narrative, highlighting the interconnectedness of Iran's military and strategic objectives. By showcasing its capabilities, Iran aims to deter potential adversaries and project an image of strength and resilience. The Zagros' impact extends beyond immediate military applications. Its introduction reflects a broader trend of technological and doctrinal evolution within the Iranian military. As Iran continues to develop and field new systems, including drones, ballistic missiles, and advanced naval platforms, it is reshaping the regional security environment. The Zagros integration into this broader framework underscores the interconnected nature of Iran's defense initiatives, where advancements in one domain complement and enhance capabilities in others. Looking ahead, the success of the Zagros will depend on its operational performance and its ability to adapt to emerging challenges. The ship's endurance, 
reliability, and effectiveness in gathering actionable intelligence will determine its value as a strategic asset. Additionally, its ability to integrate with other elements of Iran's military, including its drone and missile forces, will be critical to maximizing its impact. As Iran continues to face external pressures and internal challenges, the Zagros represents both a symbol of resilience and a practical tool for advancing its strategic goals.